For Hollywood and Scientology's golden couple, the ingenue and the movie star, his fortune, her youth, their mad, passionate love affair. I saw Tom and Katie in a restaurant like less than a year ago. They looked really happy together. They looked like a couple that was getting along just fine. Maybe they were happy a year ago in the restaurant. Maybe not. You're forgetting one fundamental thing. They're both actors. But to some on the outside looking in, Katie wasn't convincing in her role. Journalist Mark Ebner believes Katie was no longer enamored with the church, setting the stage for the split. The truth is marriages fail for all kinds of reasons. Why does the church have to be the reason that this went down? You're in or you're out. If she had any reservations about Scientology, then that would have been the biggest fracture and that's what would have led to her divorce. But e-correspondent Melanie Bromley believes there could be a simpler explanation. What I have been told is that this relationship started to fall apart about a year ago because he wasn't around. And if you take away the fact that they're both incredibly famous, how do most marriages end? Because the two people in that relationship start to see the world in a different way. And that's what happens here. Only Katie knows for sure her real reasons for wanting out of the marriage or her feelings about Scientology. And she's not talking, but someone who's been there says breaking up with a Scientologist can be particularly difficult. My situation was pure hell. Just like Katie, Carmen Llewellyn married young to an actor and devoted Scientologist. She was just 20 when she tied the knot with Jason Lee in 1995. I was aware that if I didn't become a Scientologist, then I was out. And I was aware of that. But also at the same time, I was madly in love. At first, Carmen says she was almost as giddy about her encounters with Scientology as she was about her man. A lot of the information is actually really cool, and it, and it really is helpful, and it really does change people in a good way, and I was changed in a good way. She says she devoted time and money to auditing, spiritual counseling sessions that are supposed to help church members overcome past traumas and self-destructive behavior. There were days, she says, when she spent four or five hours clutching electrodes that were wired up to a machine called an e-meter, while her auditor barraged her with questions. Auditing is intense. They can ask you anything. So if you have a secret, don't expect to keep it. After a while, Carmen says the collection of her innermost secrets by the church started to bother her. What were they doing with all that information? They're writing it all down on a piece of paper, and they're keeping it in a file and you're watching them do that. I know that there's something not right with that because to me, sometimes it feels like intelligence gathering. The Church of Scientology says what's revealed in auditing sessions is considered sacrosanct and kept strictly confidential. Carmen's marriage to Jason Lee fell apart in 2001. She had started abusing drugs and would soon stop practicing Scientology. She says she was labeled a suppressive person. Scientology speak for someone who undermines the church. Someone to be avoided. I was ostracized. Scientologists cut off from me. They weren't allowed to speak to me, not even a hello. In this 2004 promotional video produced by the church, Tom Cruise can be heard using the term suppressive person, SP for short. Maybe one day it would be SPs, like they'll just read about those in the history books, you know? <laughs> what did all this mean for Katie as she contemplated ending her marriage? Would she stay with Scientology? Or could she become an SP if she left Tom? She only had to look to the fate of Tom's previous wife, Nicole Kidman, to get an idea of what could lie ahead. We all said she was an SP, even I did, which I feel so, so irresponsible about. At that time, we were like, oh, she's an SP, that's what they say. After Tom's divorce from Nicole, the couple's two adopted children stayed with Tom and the church. Biographer Andrew Morton says for many years, they had little contact with Nicole. Nicole was very much on her own. You know, her relationship with her children was pretty distant. I mean, it was, it was down to phone calls and um, uh, on, the, on the internet. If Katie feared being apart from her daughter, Surrey, the stakes must have seemed very high as she considered her next move. Everything Katie did sort of leading up to her divorce filing 
suggests a significant degree of planning. And it suggests fear in some way, I think. Coming up, a bold strategy. For Katie to completely blindside him, that's something that Tom Cruise has never, ever encountered before. What's next? When Dateline continues. When you're trying to leave Hollywood's Top Gun, it's not as simple as filing divorce papers. So how is Katie Holmes going about it? Again, Josh Mankiewicz. Hey, Katie. Katie Holmes must have known that walking out on a Hollywood megastar with their young daughter in tow was always going to be a big deal. And many believe she must have known that it would be an even bigger deal because her husband is Scientology's top celebrity. That's certainly what Cruz biographer Andrew Morton thinks. Katie Holmes behaved as though she was escaping from Alcatraz, from an open prison. Um, and it was a very meticulously organized escape. So what happened? Morton says Katie's dad, a lawyer in Ohio, flew to New York to help his daughter overhaul her life. And she has done so knowing what Tom is like, how controlling he is, knowing how controlling the church is, and what a tough organization she faces. First, Katie got her own place in New York. She found it in this luxury apartment building loaded with amenities, including an elevator that goes straight down to the underground garage. Christopher Highland is one of her new neighbors. When you just see her from a distance, she comports herself with a regal bearing. Next, Katie cleaned house. She fired the members of her team who were loyal to Tom. Katie also got a new cell phone, according to People magazine. What woman changes her cell phone doesn't give her, her friends her telephone number. The answer is somebody who knows they're about to be in for one hell of a fight. I think so. By all accounts, Tom Cruise was caught off guard, thousands of miles away on a movie set in Iceland, when those divorce papers were filed in a New York court. Every move she's made in this has been, to a T, literally perfect. Clearly, that's not how Tom Cruise saw it. His people put out a statement saying the star was deeply saddened. Late last week, as the media storm intensified, Cruz's attorney accused Katie's people of playing the media. This is an incredibly unusual situation for a man who's controlled everything in his life for decades. But just today, it appears the temperature is being turned down in what could have been a brutal and public battle. Sources tell Dateline that lawyers for both sides are near an agreement negotiating details of the divorce, including custody of Surrey, and a joint statement from Tom and Katie may be imminent. So what's ahead? Jack Reacher is Cruz's next film. Remember, you wanted this. It's the story of a hero who takes on bigger, tougher enemies and usually wins in the end. Cruz may prevail as well. Tom is charismatic. He is brilliant in his role as a movie star. And people love that about him. This will go away. For its part, the Church of Scientology told Dateline, this is a personal family matter and the church respects their privacy. And the church has no comment on any individuals. As for Katie Holmes, she's been out and about in New York City, picking up groceries here stopping by her attorney's office and buying ice cream with her daughter. The most important thing is that Surya is able to have normal friends and a normal childhood, as normal as life can be for a movie star. On the internet, Katie Holmes is being hailed by some as a heroine. You know, being a good mother, doing the right thing, standing up for yourself. Yeah, fighting the power. But it's not over. Katie still faces the fallout of a fairy tale gone bad. And Tom Cruise, the movie star who's triumphed time and again in the final act, just may be facing the cliffhanger of his career. And as for Scientology, the split of its most famous couple has left the church under a new spotlight. This week on Rock Center with Brian Williams, what it's like for those who've tried to break away from Scientology. That's Thursday at 10, 9 central. That's all for this edition of Dateline Sunday. We'll see you again for Dateline Friday at 9, 8 central.